So what I'm doing here today is Governor Brown, uh, as Governor Brown's emergency manager, coming down here to uh, get a, a on the ground assessment of the complexity, the scope and the character of this particular fire situation and how much of, of the community has been impacted and really making sure that we fill any gaps that the county can't to be able to support them, uh, to get themselves back up online, make sure there's enough firefighting resources, that the strategies are in place and that they're working uh, uh, optimally and that uh, we're making sure that any resources that are needed uh, to not only re suppress the fire, but begin the recovery processes are underway. Was it there four weeks ago? There was nothing. There was bone could walk across, straight across that. Where's this water coming from? That comes from the watershed. All the rain we've had. Right. This is all the Sierra. Gotcha. Was it snowpack? Snow pack? Was it snowpack? Snowpack is the good stuff. The number of homes on the ground was pretty extensive. Um, you know, clearly the fire burned very, very rapidly and very hot coming down off of the mountains. There's a tremendous amount of watershed damage. I mean, uh, it's a, it's a, it's it's a, it's an incredible amount of uh, of area that burned, and um, you could see uh, through the aerial survey how hot the fire burned. And then, of course, when it came down into these communities, uh, uh, you could see not only concentrations of multiple structures that were burned, homes that were burned, but uh, also you could see the spotting of the fire as the winds pushed the uh, embers and the fire way out in front. You could see other parts of the subdivision uh, that burned homes. Uh, one home would be saved and a couple other ones down the road would be lost. So you could see that the, the uh, winds were erratic and the fire conditions were very, very critical. And does this tell you, so this obviously gives you an indication about the challenges ahead? Yeah, there's no question. I mean, this is a very austere area of our state. Um, you know, uh, the fire did damage to infrastructure. We've got, uh, not uh, notwithstanding the fifth year of drought, uh, we have a water table that's very low. Uh, most of these homes are on wells, and uh, uh, between the power being out, uh, the impact, the uh, one of the first things that burned was the, the uh, only cell site and uh, communication system that monitors this area. So we've really been working to pull all that back together again. So this is a really going to be a, a, a marathon, not a sprint. It's going to take a while to get this community community recovered. We have a lot of debris. Uh, we're going to have to come in and work with the county to help to uh, identify uh, all of the material, uh, sort it out by hazardous materials, and then clear those lots and clear the debris out of here so we can begin the rebuilding process. But it's, it's not just the homes. It's the infrastructure that's going to have to be rebuilt. Communications, power, water supply systems, all of those things are damaged currently.